All right, y'all, check this out. I came, pulled traps, because there hadn't been anything on these in about a week. So I pulled up a kind of bear and a foothold. I set these right here beside the beaver lodge. We'll get up here on top of the lodge and look what we got here. Look at this. Ugh. Looks like we got us a big old otter. <laughs> a big old otter right here next to the beaver lodge. And I know it's a beaver lodge because I've seen beavers in here. I've seen them swim up here. And I put that trap right on one of these little runs. It looked like an otter was trying to live in there. So, we'll get this guy skinned out. That's going to be a, a good looking pelt right there. I'm excited. Alright guys, today we caught a, a big old otter and one of the kind of bears. We weren't after otter. Um, you know, like I said, we've We've been contracted to get rid of some nuisance beaver, but this is just kind of a, a lucky catch, I guess. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do a little tutorial of how to skin him out, what we're gonna do with him. As always, there is a right way, a wrong way, and then there's a the way I do it. So again, this is something I hope piques your interest. There's guys that are better than I am. You can watch them and learn more, but we'll get started on this night. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna round his foot out. I'm gonna make a cut from here, right in front of his butt, all the way to here, and we'll round this out. There's enough there. And then I'm gonna go to this ankle right here. Guys, once again, I cannot stress the importance of a sharp knife. It just makes everything so much easier. I think I cut that. I can't see my red little piece right there. There we go. All right, again, I'm just going to run a line right here. This is a fillet knife. I don't have proper skinning knives and whatnot. I've got fillet knives and I've got butchering knives for when I kill deer. So, I'm trying to be careful not to cut too deep right in here because we don't want to spill all that. All right. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make pretty much a cut all the way around the butt on the tail. And we'll do that just like this. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go ahead and bring the legs down a little bit, give us a little more room. Again, cut towards the meat, not towards the hide, so if we do make any mistakes, we don't mess up the fur. I'll end up switching feet. But we're going to go right here. Again, if you're trying to do professional fur handling so that you can sell these things, I would probably recommend looking at somebody else's. I mentioned before Coon Creek Outdoors on YouTube. That's what that guy does makes me a living doing some of it so i would check him out i'm doing this for me 
So it doesn't have to be fire ready. So what I've done now, we just skipped ahead a little bit, so you don't have to watch it all, but what I've done is I've just taken this little fillet knife and just worked around this tail all the way down. And so we've got it pretty much cleaned out right in here. I'm gonna take this knife and just peel this back and use the tail bone, tail bone, as a guide and just keep working it. Oh. Not cut myself. A little springy. And pull that last little bit out just like that. And there's the tail. We'll have to flesh that out. But uh oh, it turned out good. Just a little thick tail. Alright. Now what we're gonna do is gonna pull this down just a little bit. Particularly careful around this belly area. All right. <clears throat> Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this knife. I'm gonna cut the feet off, and then I'm gonna hang them up higher, and we're gonna try to pull them out of his pajamas. See how that works for us. All right. Now that we've got a uh, front feet cut off right here, and. Uh, we got them exposed down the belly just a little bit. What I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start pulling down on it. And as I go, we're gonna cut a little bit. So we'll get started on that. Anytime we get hung up, it looks like we're gonna start ripping something. We'll try to cut, but right now everything's going pretty smooth. I need to cut that tail off. I keep about hitting myself in the head with the band tail. Bunch up on his shoulders. It's starting to get slippery on me, so what I'm gonna do is to help myself out, make a few little cuts again towards the meat, never towards the fur, as I'm pulling.
Y'all can see, you can get a good shot of this right here. This is a perfect example. This membrane that's stretching, you can see where the fur is. Uh, this little lump that we've got rolled up. But what we're gonna do is we're just take our knife going towards the, the meat, towards the body, and as we pull and slice that, let me see if I can get a good angle on that. And just like that, it just rolls on down. Right here, here's another bit. And just lets it all up. If you ever skimp a deer, you're probably familiar with, you know, skinning something like that. Same difference. You know, just work it down. Right here, we're starting to get to his shoulders. We're gonna pull it out of his shoulders the best we can, and then we're gonna just pop the whole arm out. Um, the reason I'm grabbing up inside of him like this, I get a much better grip that way. All right, we're just going to keep pulling this hide, keep working these shoulders. So, right here. Get up in here. try to do now is I'm going to use my fingers and try to get in between this armpit there we go just like that you can see that little hole just like we did on that coon I'll put my weight on it I'm going to try to pull that joker out There it is. Just like that. We had a little too much meat getting stuck to the hide. And that's what's causing us so much uh, worry and pain. I mean, it's a pain in the ass. Alright, same thing with this one. Got our finger through there. Put our weight on it. Our level came out. And I about hit the ground. <laughs> but all right, that's that. Now, all we gotta do is keep working this hide down and get over here towards the head. <laughs> All right, 
There's our pelt, all skinned out. And what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna rinse this off real quick and uh, then we'll turn it back inside out and give you a good look at it. We'll go from there. All right, y'all, there's the finished product. We turn it back inside out, or right side out. Yeah. See, we still got his face, his nose. His tail, it's got those big old thick haunches. It's a beautiful fur. We haven't even washed it, brushed it out, nothing. So this thing is gonna be absolutely gorgeous. So that's that, there you go.